Hey guys, it's Mr. Olson. I want to show you an example of heating in the atmosphere using my solar food dryer. This is a project I built for Earth Day about 10 years ago, and it captures heat from the sun to dry your food with only solar energy. Check it out. What we have on the top is a couple clear panes of ga uh, glass, and these allow radiation from the sun to travel into it. So the light from the sun enters the unit through the glass, and the bottom part here has a metal plate that is painted black. That dark color absorbs more of the sun's radiation, so it heats up a lot faster. There's our first type of heat transfer. Next we want to talk about conduction. Conduction is when you have two things that are touching each other and heat travels from one to the other. So the air inside here is touching the metal plate and it begins to heat up. In the bottom of the unit we have a vent it lets cold air come in through the bottom, across the whole bottom. So cold air comes into the bottom of the chamber. It travels across the bottom of that black metal plate. And since it's touching against there, it heats up. Then it wraps around the front of that black metal plate and it comes into the food chamber and it continues to heat as it touches the top part of that plate. So the air travels back and forth in a little uh, zigzag and heats up as it touches the plate. That's conduction. Once the air is heated, it begins to rise up in a current. Cool air coming in the bottom heats up and begins to rise to the top, and that is a convection current. Convection is when heated fluids travel uh, and warm things rise upward. So the solar food dryer has an angle built into it, which allows that hot air coming in, in through the food to exit the top of the chamber. And as it comes out of the solar food dryer, it's carrying a lot of moisture from the food with it. If I want to let more heat out, if it's too hot, or if I want more air to flow, I can open a little vent on the, on the back side here to control the airflow. So there are three methods of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. And the really neat thing here um, is 44 degrees outside today, but inside our solar food dryer here, it's a little bit above 122. Pretty hot stuff. Have a great day.